We are at the Virginia Tech Duck Pond. Beautiful pond. Um, really has a lot of fishing pressure on it, so it's not very productive. It's a tough pond to fish. And the water just tends to be way lower than the bank, so you can see things really easily. But those big fish in this summer heat, man, do not want to eat. Okay, we're gonna hit this spot. We're gonna go in with the pro advantage. These fish are probably deeper right now because it's midday. At least that's what I gather. See, I'm not, guys, I'm not gonna pretend to be a freshwater genius. This is kind of a, I'm just describing to you what I learned a couple days of being out here. So, it's going to be a learning experience for all of us, so hopefully with some fish mixed in. I've had success at night with... Damn it. Get down. I've had success at night, um, really giving a lot of little tiny, tiny twitch jigs to get reaction strikes. But right now they can see it, so I'm trying to do the more natural thing. They, they say you drag it, you put it in a defensive position by twitching it a few times, let it sit, drag it, the whole nine yards, put it on rocks, throw it in deep cover, that's all I know. It's worked. Because I got a fish fucking on right now. God damn it. Just had a fish, boys. Trying this color, I've caught most of my fish in dark colors. Darker browns than this. But it's daytime, so I'm trying a little bit of a lighter brown. Crawfish was a little darker than that, the one I saw. Oh, boys, that's a lesson on skipping a bait caster. That's a professional shot. <laughs> Lucky. Because they work these shadows along these banks. Most all the banks have rocks. So that's a hot spot. I've been bit. A bunch of times surprise bit. Oh, that's a good cast too. A bunch of times I've been had a surprise bite right at the water's edge. I'm talking like on land. Like where did you come from? But uh, I figure... The reason I'm at least decent, I mean, I, I've bass fished in with my friend after high school, probably twice a week during high school. Just, you know, oh, that's a bite. Got him. That's a nice bass. Oh, yeah, baby. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the day of classes was over, so I decided to come back out late eve late afternoon. Uh, I'm working the opposite side of the cover I was working in the earlier portion of the video, and I noticed this sort of subsurface mat right here to the right of the screen. So I'm kind of working it at a 40 degree angle, 45 degree angle from the tree back into the mat and under the mat and then twitching it under the mat letting it sink bringing my bait jig up to the mat and letting it sink and uh, it gets some really good results as you're going to see here in just one second On the jig, so I guess we proved ourselves. Proved ourselves with the jig. Ugh. It's pretty good there, bud. Mm. 
pulled him out of the mats. A lot of healthy fish. Which is not that big. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you really like the video. Thanks.